Hello, today is the 13th of May and we are just three days away from the two months of um, lockdown here in France. Uh, we're still being careful, we cannot go uh, more, travel more than 100 kilometers. Things are quite strict here in, in France, but it's for, uh, for the good of, of everyone, for the good of the nation. And uh, so I'll, we pray that uh, God will help will have mercy on us, on, on France and, and our neighbor uh, country, Spain and Italy and all the country, United Kingdom and all the countries in Europe and in the world that are going through this terrible, uh, difficult time. I would like to read just one, a few words in Romans chapter 2, verse 25. Circumcision is important if... After... after um, uh, dealing with the problem of the pedigree um, in the beginning of this chapter 2. Now he's going to address the problem of the tattoo. Uh, yesterday uh, I was talking about this person who believed he could be, uh, he could be a sailor because uh, his grandfather was a sailor, because someone in his family was a sailor. So he could be a sailor as well because his ancestors were lots of people in his family had been sailors in the past, so he could be as well. And he even had a tattoo in the same place where his uh, great-grandfather had a tattoo. And his great-grandfather was a sailor, so he could be a sailor as well. Paul was, will say uh, later in this uh, text that the, the true circumcision is the circumcision of the heart. Circumcision was very important for, for, for the Jewish people, and I guess it still is. Uh, and Abraham was the first to be uh, circumcised when uh, he was uh, already an adult. Um, but the text in Genesis says that God justified Abraham before he was circumcised. So justification from God is before circumcision about 15, 14 years before his circumcision, he, he, had, he took this step of faith to trust in God and be declared as a righteous person before God. It was faith. It was by faith, not by circumcision. But in Rome, uh, after dealing in the, first, in the chapter 1 uh, with the people who came from a, a, a Gentile nation, uh, now he's dealing with the Jewish people in that community. L let's talk about uh, marriage. I, I'm, a, I'm a married man. My, my wife is called Susan Mary. Got married in 1997 in Northern England. And in that day, there was an exchange of uh, rings. Uh, not the ring of power from the Lord of the Rings. But it's this ring that uh, shows that I am... Uh, married to Susan, and Susan has got another uh, ring that shows that she's married to me. But imagine as if a husband who's been married, a couple, they've been married for uh, for 20 years, but um, the husband now, it's uh, after a few a few years after the wedding, uh, he's, he's not a good husband, he's not a good father. He beats his wife, he's very violent, and he's got... Uh, Lovers all over the place. Uh, everyone knows knows that, and uh, he's neglecting his family, neglecting his wife. He doesn't love her, but every time he comes home, he comes with his ring. And his wife is fed up, and she decides that uh, that's too much is too much. And uh, but the husband will tell her, but don't forget, for twenty years I've been carrying this ring that shows I've been married to you. Do you think the wife will say, oh, of course, you are a very violent man. You beat us, you beat me, you beat my children, you neglect us. I, everyone knows that you've got lovers all over the place. But it's true that you have got this ring and you kept the ring for 20 years. Do you think the wife will say that? That's exactly what those people were doing. They were living a life just like the others. But they were boasting and saying that they, they had the ring. Not in the finger, somewhere else, but they had the ring that showed that they belonged to God. Symbols are not more important than God. And the true circumcision, says Paul, is the one of the heart. Is the new birth, is the birth from above. 
And grace introduces us to a new world, to a new kingdom, to a different planet. It's the planet where I am transformed from inside. Symbols are not everything. If there is no life, the symbol doesn't mean anything. This ring doesn't mean anything if, if I'm not faithful to my wife or if, if the wife is not faithful to her husband. What's the point with the symbol? I grew up in a so-called Christian family. Some Catholics and then uh, uh, from my mom's side they were uh, mainly Protestants, Evangelicals. But that doesn't mean that all those people were faithful disciples of Christ. I used to be a chaplain here in, in France and uh, I was for uh, 12 years. And I used to go and visit people in prison and I worked with street people. And then one day I was in a meeting with other um, ch uh, chaplains. And then this man came to see me and said, in this prison, all the people here are disciples of Christ. And I said, oh, really? That's amazing. Why, 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 why so? And he said, because they, all, they have all been baptized. And I was thinking, well, maybe for the disciples of Christ, they wouldn't be there. It's true they were probably baptized, but that doesn't mean that they belong to God. They have got the ring, but what about their hearts? So God wants to change completely our lives from our hearts. I've got a heart here. It's not that this heart. That's what Paul is trying to say to these people. You are circumcised, it's true. But your heart needs to be circumcised as well. So you become a good husband and you become a good disciple and you'll be able to sail with God.